In our past videos, we talked about Advent, Primera, GIC, Adium, and of course, CPP Investments. Well, all five of these firms and more were part of the McAfee deal. In our January 2022 video newsletter, which you should subscribe to in the link in the description below if you don't already receive it, we took a deep dive into the McAfee deal which focused on the dislocation between the public and private markets. Now, even though this video is a little bit old, I believe that the lesson is important today, considering the state of the current markets. So to learn from that McAfee deal, stay tuned for our Mink Sites video newsletter. In this edition of Ming Sites, we will walk you through the McAfee deal, a recent deal where a consortium of investors, including private equity firms, sovereign wealth funds, and a Canadian pension fund, are buying McAfee and taking the firm private. We'll go through the history of McAfee, followed by the details of the deal, and we will analyze the deal. So let's get started with the history of McAfee. In 1987, John McAfee founded the antivirus software company McAfee and Associates. In 1992, the company raised $42 million in an IPO. And in 1993, John McAfee turned the reins over to Bill Larson, who became the CEO and led the company to make many acquisitions over the coming years, including the 1997 acquisition of Network General, a company which was actually larger than McAfee at the time and led to the combined company changing its name to Network Associates Inc. In 2004, the company rebranded back to its original McAfee name. And in 2011, Intel bought McAfee for $7.68 billion and later branded the company Intel Security. McAfee didn't do well under Intel. And in 2017, Intel spun out McAfee to TPG a well-known private equity firm, at a valuation of $4.2 billion. Intel kept a minority stake of 49%, and Tama Bravo, another private equity firm, also received a minority stake. After this, the company was rebranded once again as McAfee. In 2020, McAfee went public again at a value of $20 per share, a number that will be useful when we move on in this video. So let's look at the details of the deal, the deal we're talking about in this video. A consortium including private equity firms, Advent, Premira, and Crosspoint Capital, sovereign wealth funds, GIC and Abu Dhabi Investment Authority, as well as the big Canadian pension fund, CPP Investments, purchased McAfee at $14 billion, of which was $12 billion in equity, $26 per share, to bring the company private once again. This amount was a 22.6% premium over McAfee's closing share price of $21.21 .21 on November 4th, 2021. So let's analyze the deal. As we noticed from the history of the company, there was quite a lot of movement back and forth from the public markets to the private markets. Now for the purpose of this video, we did not focus on the operations of the business. Even though antivirus software companies have benefited from the increased use of technology in recent years, especially the past year and a half with the move to remote work. Looking specifically at the pricing of the company, McAfee had consistently traded above $25 per share between June and August 2021. But in early September, some large institutional investors sold their stakes in the company and the stock dropped dramatically. In fact, the sale comprised of almost 12% of the outstanding equity of the company. After that, the company continued to trade between $20 and $22 per share until the beginning of November when the consortium put in the bid of $26 per share. Investors, what can we learn from this? Well, many private equity firms have been looking for dislocations in value in the public markets in an effort to take public companies private. In fact, 
This is why we saw so many private equity transactions in the UK over the past year. The UK public companies were trading at a lot more reasonable multiples than the public companies in many markets around the world, including the expensive US markets. Now, with McAfee, the consortium believes that the drop in price of McAfee created an opportunity to buy the firm at a low multiple. As we know from many of our YouTube videos, if we can buy a company at a low multiple, well, there may be a great opportunity to create value in a deal through multiple expansion. So investors, depending on your size and criteria for investment, there may be an opportunity to create value to multiple expansion by finding dislocations in multiples in the public markets and bringing those public companies private.